Hi guys, today I'll show you how to use this Weber Kettle Premium Charcoal Grill. In this video you'll see how to light the grill, cook chicken, how to clean the grill, and I'll also give you some tips to make grilling easier, especially if you're new to grilling with charcoal. It's a 22 inch grill and I got it in this nice green color. It also comes in black, copper, and crimson. If you want to get this grill, I'll leave a link right below this video. I've already done an assembly video. If you want to see that, the link is right below in the description. This grill has a porcelain enameled bowl and lid. A lid hook inside the grill lid, which is a really bad design. It's awkward trying to get it into the right position. With the master touch model, a side lid holder is included and that looks much easier to use. Rust resistant aluminum dampers, lid handle with heat shield, and side handle with two hooks for hanging accessories. Use the handle to move the grill. A built in thermometer, heavy gauge steel charcoal grate, plated steel hinged cooking grate. The sides open up so you can add more charcoal. You can hang it on the side of the bowl. Aluminized steel one touch cleaning system. Just move the handle back and forth and the three blades move ash to the removable aluminum ash catcher. The vents control airflow. Open it up all the way for high heat and close it as much as halfway for lower temperatures. There's a bottom wire rack and two wheels. Before you start grilling, move the handle and remember its position so you can see how much of the vent is open, which will help you when you're cooking. The easiest thing to do is leave the bottom vent all the way open and control the temperature by adjusting the lid damper. So during cooking, you don't have to move the bottom vent at all. The first symbol means vent closed. Second, vent is half open. The third, fully open. Move the handle all the way to the trash can symbol and back when you're moving ash from the bowl to the ash catcher. Before you grill, you need a couple of things that'll make your life easier. A grill brush to clean the grill, tongs, spatula, and fork. To heat up the coals, a chimney starter, lighter cubes, and a lighter, and gloves for safety. Also a cover. This is the lighter, less expensive cover. It's fine for me since I can move the grill under an awning. If you don't have any protection outside, get the thicker grill cover. I used a larger version of this for my gas grill and it lasted many years without issues. To start grilling, first thing, open the bottom vent all the way and the lid damper all the way. Without a chimney starter, you can arrange coals on the charcoal grate into a pyramid and put two lighter cubes within the pyramid. Light them and let it go until there's white ash coating the charcoal. With the chimney starter, you can use crumpled up paper or two lighter cubes. Put the chimney starter on the charcoal grate and fill it with coals. Put two lighter cubes or crumpled up paper under it. Light it. Wait about 15 minutes until the coals are ashed over. Every day I grill is windy. There are tips online on how to grill on a windy day. The instruction manual has a guide on how much coal to use depending on the size of your grill. Also, how long it takes to cook different kinds of meat and vegetables. There are two methods of cooking, direct and indirect heat. Direct heat means cooking over the coals, food that takes less than 20 minutes to cook, like steaks, burgers, boneless meat, fish, vegetables, and kebabs. Indirect heat means the food is not above the coals. Move the coals to one side and place the food on the other side, or coals can go on both sides of the grill with the food in the middle. When I first used the grill, the gloves hadn't arrived, so I just used a kitchen towel instead, but I prefer the gloves, it's much safer. As you can see, these are really big on my hands, but they're still flexible. I'll link everything I'm using below in case you wanna get it. My coals are hot, pour them out carefully onto the grate. Cover and let the grill heat up 10 to 15 minutes for direct heat and less than 10 minutes for indirect heat. I'm grilling some marinated Jamaican style chicken using indirect heat. It's a really easy marinade and gives you a delicious chicken. The recipe's below if you wanna try it out. I grilled bone-in skin on chicken thighs one time and a spash cocked whole chicken another time. So I'll show you both. The grill is heated up. You don't need to oil the grate. There should be enough oil on your food so it doesn't stick. With these eight chicken thighs, I cooked them about 20 minutes on one side flip them over and cook 20 minutes on the other side. Then I move them over the coals. By the way, you could just move the grate with your tongs instead of moving each piece of food. I covered and cooked about five minutes on each side and they're done. Total cooking time for the chicken thighs is about 40 minutes. For the whole chicken, I put it skin side down for 30 minutes, flipped it, and cooked for another 30 minutes. Moved it over the coals and cooked for 10 minutes on each side. Use a thermometer to check the internal temperature. Total cooking time was one hour and 20 minutes. The chicken was a little over four pounds. 
You just can't beat the taste of charcoal grilled chicken. It's really that good. The meat's always juicy and has an amazing smoky flavor. Some tips so you don't have to figure it out for yourself. Keep the grill covered as much as you can. It's the most important part of grilling. Don't keep opening the lid to check your food. You'll lose heat, you'll see the temperature dial going down, food won't be cooked, and then you may have to add more charcoal. As long as you use indirect heat and watch the temperature, your food is not going to get burnt. A temperature tip. Most food can be cooked using indirect medium heat, like I did for the chicken. That's 350 to 450 degrees. To keep the temperature around 375, 400, leave the lid damper about three quarters of the way open. As you get used to grilling and move the lid damper, you'll see how much to open for the temperature you want. It'll take about 10 minutes for the temperature to adjust. After you're done cooking, put the lid on. Close the damper completely and close the bottom vent completely. Wait for the grill to be cool and the charcoal should be fully extinguished. I usually just clean it the next day since I grill in the evening. The lid is clean, I don't have to do anything with it. If it gets grease built up over time, use a stainless steel bristle grill brush. As for the cooking grate, the next time you grill when the coals are hot, clean the cooking grate with a brush. Take the remaining usable coals and save them in your chimney starter. There's no need to waste them. You can use them the next time you grill. Remove the charcoal grate. Move the handle back and forth so the ash goes into the catcher below. I save an old kitchen towel just to clean this grill. Wipe the inside and move any remaining ash down. You don't have to wipe the inside every time. Remove the ash catcher and discard the ash. This you want to do every time you grill. I want to compost everything, but if you're using briquettes that have additives or are not wood, you can't compost them, you have to throw them out. If you're using wood charcoal with no additives, they can be used as fertilizer for some plants, not all of them. Lump charcoal doesn't generally have additives. Some of the ash was stuck in there mixed with the fat that dripped off the chicken. I wash out the catcher with a sponge. When you grill, you can always put some foil or a foil pan on the charcoal grate so there's less of a mess. Most of us won't be doing any more cleaning than this, but when you feel the grill really needs a deeper cleaning, both grates can be washed with a sponge and soapy water. The inside of the lid and bowl, the three blades can also be washed the same way, as well as the outside of the grill. Rinse everything and dry with a cloth. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up.